Hi, Chuck Woodbury with RVTravel.com, and I'm here again with uh, Larry McGaw, uh, the owner of RV Comfort Systems, and we're talking about his cheap heat system. And Larry, I've got a question for you sure. that I think you've heard before. A lot of people will have a portable space heater with them um, in, in their RVs. It's pretty common these days. Uh, the maximum wattage on those is 1,500 watts, and yet your system, using electric heat, to uh, heat the coach will take, what, 3,600 up to 5,000 watts? How are you able to do that when we're always hearing about this 1,500 watt limit? Yeah, with a, with a portable heater, you're limited to what you can do when you plug into a wall socket, and that's where the 1,500 watt limitation is. With our system, it's hardwired directly into the breaker panel, and because of that, that allows us to use a heavier gauge wire and go directly to the breakers. So for example, on the 1800 watt system, that would use a 20 amp breaker and it uses a 12 gauge wire running all the way back to the breaker system. Where in the 50 amp service, which a 50 amp service in a coach, in a, a four wire 50 amp service, is actually like a residential service you find in your home, a 240 volt service with two 110 legs. We capitalize on the fact that it's 240 volts, just like your dryer is or your electric hot water is in your home. So in our medium and higher heat settings, we run it at 240 volts. So that keeps the current level way down so you don't have to have this oversized wire and these oversized breakers, but yet it's still hardwired back all the way to the breaker system so that you don't have to deal with the overheating you may find in a plug. That being the case, we can go up as high as 5,000 watts and still have plenty of power left in the coach to run the rest of the coach. All right, well, uh, thanks a lot, Larry. Thank you.